an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the ASX of Breakfast. I'm Rachel Lai from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is set to fall at the open yet again. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 0.08% lower at 7,313. Health supplements company Blackmore's announced today it's entered into a scheme implementation deed with Kirin Holdings for the acquisition of 100% of the issued share capital of Blackmore's by way of scheme of arrangement. If the scheme is implemented, Blackmore's shareholders will receive a total cash consideration of $95 per share, less any special dividend declared and paid to Blackmore shareholders on or before the date of implementation of the scheme. A fully frank special dividend of $3.34 per Blackmore share is expected to be paid. Blackmore's Board of Directors unanimously recommends that Blackmore shareholders vote in favour of the scheme. Telix Pharmaceuticals has expanded its artificial intelligence capability with the signing of an agreement to acquire Vienna-based Dedicad as spin-off of the Medical University of Vienna. Dedicade's core asset is a clinical decision support software AI platform capable of rapidly generating indication-specific CDSS applications from available data sets for use with a PET scan and other imaging modalities. Each CDSS application is trained to predict outcomes such as the severity of disease, risk to the patient, and or informed treatment decisions. The technology has been developed by Dedicade with collaboration with the Medical University of Vienna with proof of concept on the machine learning mythology and applications developed for prostate, breast and lung cancer published in leading peer review journals. A Newcast reports it's on track for Group Financial Year 2023 production guidance after a solid third quarter performance. Newcrest granted Newmont exclusive due diligence following revised non-binding indicative proposal in April to acquire 100% of the issued shares in Newcrest. Third quarter operating performance of gold production of 510,000 ounces and copper production of 31 thousands of tons. Well, it's time for a break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 0.68%. The technology heavy NASDAQ composite added 0.47%. And the S&P 500 slid 0.38%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed lower. London's FTSE lost 0.49%. Frankfurt fell 0.48%, while Paris closed 0.86% lower. In Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.71%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng added 0.71%, and China's Shanghai Composite closed flat. Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkind TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.